Good day learners! Once again, this is Mom Jolene and today we will be discussing about the Midline Theorem. Let's get started! The midline theorem states that the segment that joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half as long. So, bago natin define ko ano ang midline, ano muna ba ang midpoint? So, suppose we are given triangle win, okay, so that's W, I, N. So, we have three sides of a triangle. So, that's side W, I, side I, N, and side W, N. Alin dito ang mga midpoints? So, your midpoint ay exactly the middle point of a side, okay, or of a segment. So, suppose this is segment WI or side WI, the midpoint can be named any capital letter. So, let's say this is uh, midpoint A, and I say that the midpoint of side WN is midpoint Z. Actually, side IN also has a midpoint. We can name this as um, midpoint O. Now, what is a midline? A midline is the segment that joins two midpoints. Okay? So, we can name this midline as midline AZ. Now, how do we apply the midline theorem in finding the measure of a midline or of the third side? Note that the midline theorem states that the midline of a triangle is parallel to the third side. Once again, when we say parallel, these are lines that will never meet. Aww. So going back, midline AZ here is parallel to the third side IN. And if I say that the measure of the third side IN is 48, 48 centimeters, we can get the measure of midline AZ by just dividing the third side by 2 because the midline is half as long as the third side. So what's the half of 48? Correct, that's 24 centimeters. So do not forget the unit measure, so that's centimeters this time. Alright? Now suppose I say that the measure of the third side is 11 inches. What's the measure of the midline? Correct, that's 5.5 inches. Once again, you just have to get the half of the third side. And that's it. That's the measure of the midline. Now, what if the measure of the third side is 1,250 centimeters? What's the measure of the midline? So that's 600, 625 centimeters okay so that's how we get the measure of the midline given the measure of the third side all right now what if the measure of the midline is given and you were asked for the measure of the third side simply now you just have to double it just double the measure of the midline and that's it that's the measure of the third side so suppose the measure of the segment az or the midline az is 16 centimeters What's the measure of the third side? Ta-da! That's it! 32 centimeters! Very good! How about if the measure of the midline is 46 inches? What's the measure of the third side? You got it right! That's 92 inches! How about if the measure of the midline is 22.8 feet? What's the measure of the third side? I am. Decimals, right? So that's 45.6 feet. Very good. Now, what if there are unknown quantities like Z, X, or Y? Paano natin nahanapin yung value ng Z this time? So, just like what we did kanina, we just have to double the measure of the midline para makuha natin yung third side. So, paano gagawin natin? You can say that the third side I am is equal to twice the measure of the midline AZ. 
All right. So if the measure of the third side is 7z plus 15, that is equal to twice the measure of midline AZ, which is 3z plus 9. All right. So let's try to answer. You just copy 7z plus 15 and multiply the measure of uh, midline AZ by 2. So that's 2 times 3z, that's 6z. 2 times 9, that's positive 18. All right. After that, pagsama-samahin natin yung mga like terms, dalhin natin sa left side. Yung mga may literal coefficient or yung may kasamang letters. So, dalhin natin. So, we have here 7z transposed to the left side. 6z will, will become negative 6z equals, we have 18 here on the right side. Let's transpose the constant term on the right side. So, positive 15 will become negative 15. Right? Now, let's simplify. So, that's 7z minus 6z. It's just like 7 minus 6. So, that's 1. It's just z. And 18 minus 15 is 3. So, this is the value of z. Now, what is the measure of midline az and third side in if the value of z is 3? Let's try. So, let's try first the measure of midline az. So, that's 3z plus 9. All we have to do is to substitute. So, 3 times the value of z, that's 3 plus 9. So, the measure of midline az is 3 times 3, that's 9, plus 9. So, that would give us 18. 18 units. Now, actually, kaya din na natin isolve yung measure ng third side. We just have to double, di ba? So, 18 times 2, that's 36. In a measure of third third side, but still, let's try to solve. Okay, para alam nandi natin how to uh, check. Okay, so that's seven z plus fifteen. Yan papangita na papangita sulat natin, guys. So that's i n equals seven times the measure of z three plus fifteen. So that's seven times three twenty one plus fifteen. So, the sum is 21 plus 15, that's 36, double of 18. So, that's 36 units. So, that means our answers are correct. Okay? So, yun muna for today, mga kabuji. Once again, this is Mom Charlene. See you on the next vlog. Bye-bye!